you know, it's just bigger in life seeing that stadium. There's no better stadium. You feel really little. <laughs> I mean, it's just huge. God, I just love the atmosphere. Tunnel walk. <laughs> Got to be, doesn't it? Tunnel, tunnel walk. walk. When they play that tunnel walk, if, yeah. you, if you can't get excited about that, you, you must be dead. It's roaring loud. It's just a little bit of heaven right here. There's nothing like 93,000 fans. I'll never forget going to my first Nebraska game. It was a blowout. Nebraska won 72 to 0. 1978, Nebraska, Oklahoma. Billy Sims put the ball on the ground eight times and ended up beating him 17 14. No kidding, my grandpa took me to that game. That was my first game. I think I was 10. Never forget it. Five years old, my grandma took me to my very first game. And he took her to her last Husker game when she no longer could walk and make it. It's a connection that you make no matter what time you were introduced to Nebraska. You want to be a fan. We don't go on vacation, really. It's our family vacation is every Saturday that there's a home game. You know, it just gets in your blood and it's trickled down to our kids and grandkids are suited in Husker Red as well, so. It just never leaves you. It's hard to explain, but once you have it, you always have it. Don't make me cry. Well, there you, go. you can see it's a big deal because we're in our grandpa's tickets. You know, it's a legacy thing and you can tell it matters. The fans aren't just fans. I think the fans are part of the program. They're connected to us because uh, they're part of us. You know, they're part of the family. Six or eight of us, and we all got Husker tattoos. I got Husker tattoos, my wife, my brother. Red till dead. That's what it is. We're good people. We just are a little crazy about our football. <laughs> And we even believe that sitting out here watching it on TV, we can help them down there. Yeah, my wife says, no, they can't hear you. I'm like, yes, they can. Yes, they can. And we're screaming at the TV. Yeah, they hear us. They hear us. So I said, I've got grandma's ring, if you'd like to propose with it. And there was silence, and I think he had to collect his thoughts and his emotions, and he said. Seven years later, she's still taking care of me. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely meant so much that I could do it with my grandma's ring in the stadium. It's all about memories. It's family and memories that are probably the most important thing to me about all of this Husker stuff. It's not just a football team. This is our... Family. Yeah. It's a family. It's a community. How many times are you sitting around strangers and you've never met them before, but they're Husker fans? You start to know them by name, and you only have four quarters. By the end of them four quarters, it's like your family. Through thick or thin, the last 20 years have proved it. You know, we're still filling it up. Man, every Saturday, the stadium is jam-packed, and people forget about everything, and it's right back to, how's family going to win today? <laughs>